Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I'm announcing that I am a co-host of New Worlds November 2022. This is an event created by the Bookish Bryants, and it is to encourage people to read science fiction, especially shorter works of science fiction, books under 250 pages, or short stories. And there are a whole bunch of co-hosts, and they include Steve Donahue, Sean D. Steadfast, Michael K. Vaughn, The Book Eclectic, Book Time with Elvis, The Rambling Reviewer, Jim Reads Too Slow, Read by Fred, and Science Fiction Reads. So we are all going to be reading and participating in New Worlds November. As I said, this is to read short works of science fiction. There are some main themes for each week, but you don't have to follow these themes. If you are newer to science fiction and just want to explore the genre, please feel free just to ditch these themes and go with whatever you want to read. But the first week, we are focusing on terrestrial. That is, find a work that takes place on Earth. Week number two is extraterrestrial. Find a work that takes place on an alien world, maybe one that does not even mention Earth. Week number three, read a work of classic science fiction published before 1965. 1965 is the beginning of um, the new wave of science fiction. So um, we are considering anything before that a classic work. And the last fourth week is Robots AI. Read a work that is centered around robots or artificial intelligence. And again, please feel free to ditch these themes if you don't like them. But wait, there's more. We are having sort of a sub-themes. And this is just sort of a scavenger hunt. Um, see if you can find these themes in any of the works that you read. And there's a baker's dozen of them. Alien archaeology. Alien romance. Translated work. Alternative world dimensions. Far future. War military. Genre crossing. And genre crossing is a story that would um, sort of cross genres, sort of like horror and science fiction or science fiction and romance. Your choice. And first contact, time travel, invasion, humorous, political, libraries. And libraries is sort of an odd one out that is um, just find a science fiction story that involves books or libraries. But wait, there is still more. There is an extra credit. Um, visit a parallel universe, read a storybook, and watch, listen, or read the same work in another medium. That medium could be a movie, radio broadcast. Check out uh, archive.org for these. It could be a graphic novel, television show, or anything else that you want. Now, I don't know how many of these sub-themes I'm going to get. I'm sure I'm going to miss some. Extra credit? Maybe I'll do one. I'm not a big movie watcher, but who knows? So, now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be reading. But first, I'm going to show you the sources that I'm going to be reading from. I am reading exclusively short stories. I'm going to read at least three short stories in every main theme per week, and um, maybe add some more. The first source is a digital book, and that is going to be The Big Book of Science Fiction by Anne and Jeff Vandermeer. The second is also a digital book, the Hard SF Renaissance, 
And these two digital books are absolutely ginormous. I believe they're close to a thousand pages in print. I'm also going to be looking at, again, Dangerous Visions, edited by Harlan Ellison. The Complete Stories by J.G. Ballard. Now here's a blast from the past. Terror, or Science Fiction Terror Tales, edited by Joff Coughlin. The Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 1. Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 2A. I don't think I currently have any stories selected from this volume or the next volumes of the Science Fiction Hall of Fame, but I'm using them as resources in case I want to pick something. Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 2B. And Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 3. We've got the SFWA European Hall of Fame, edited by James Morrow and Catherine Morrow. This is all translated science fiction from Europe. And um, I have read the stories in this before, and um, only one short story is a turkey. I won't tell you which story is a turkey because um, maybe you'll disagree with me, but all the rest of them are really good. And here's one, again, I don't have anything selected out of this right now, but I picked this up for a dollar. This is the Daw Science Fiction Reader, and this comes from 19-something. Uh, how old is this? Yeah, uh, 1979. Um, it does include some short stories. It has um, a complete novel of an alternative world by Andre Norton never before published in paperback. It's a little longer than I wanted to because I'm focusing on short stories, but maybe that's a good one to squeeze in in one of these months, one of these weeks. And lastly, I have View from Another Shore, European Science Fiction, edited by Franz Rotensteiner. I have not read any of the stories out of here. I don't have any currently selected, but I'm, I'm using this as a backup um, reference. I also have two big books anthologies that I ordered last night. That is The Roads to Science Fiction, edited by James Gunn, um, volumes three and four. I used to own those collections back when I was at university because um, I had a university class on science fiction and um, there's some really good short stories in those that uh, I may want to add. Okay, so now what am I actually going to be reading? Uh, my tentative reading list um, for Terrestrial is going to be In the Barn by Piers Anthony. That is a story that I have read before, and it's a really fabulous short story of an alternate earth where there are no dairy cows. So women are dairy cows. Very creepy. I am also going to be doing the Lake Was Full of Artificial Things by Karen Joy Fowler. Never read it, so I can't tell you what it's about. The Monster by Gerard Klein. Also a story that I have never read. And those are the three that I know I'm going to read. Um, some possibilities of stories that I may read. And um, commenters are free to um, suggest some stories out of here. Would be... That Only a Mother by Judith Merrill, Baby Doll by Joanna Sinslasville, Snow by Jean Crawley, and Beggars in Spain by Nancy Chris. Week number two, Extra Terrestrial, Vaster Than Empires and More Slow by Ursula K. Le Guin. That is also going to be a reread for me. The Frozen Cardinal by Michael Moorcock. Have not read that one. Kindness of Strangers by Sarah Zettel. Another story that I have not read. 
And um, I have a whole bunch of other stories that are on my list of possibilities. And again, if you want to comment on uh, any of these stories you think I should read, go ahead and do that. Sand Kings by George R. R. Martin, a story that I have read before. I read the original story in Omni Magazine, the month it was published. Yeah, I, re I read that a real long time ago. Gossamer by Stephen Baxter. Microbe by Joan Slonowinski. The Universe of Things by Gwyneth Jones. Morrow by Robert Reed. And um, Takalagmakan by Bruce Sterling. So if any of those stories you think I should read, make a comment. Classic science fiction, predating 1965. The Game of Rat and Dragon by Cardwiner Smith. Terminal Beach by J.G. Ballard. They by Robert A. Heinlein. I think I may have read this story a long, long, long time ago, but I don't remember anything about it. Some of the possibilities that I may read is Tlon, Ubrar, Obrias, Tereus by Jorge Luis Borges, Imposter by Philip K. Dick, A Rose for Ecclesiastes by Roger Zelazny, Surface Tension by James Blish. And the last week for Robots AI, I am going to be reading or rereading The Last Question by Isaac Asimov. Good News from the Vatican by Robert Silverberg. And a reread about um, post humanity, and I'm considering post humanity who are computer organisms. AI. That's going to be um, Wang's Carpets by Greg Egan. For other stories that I may read, and again, go ahead and put your suggestions in the comments. Desertion by Clifford D. Simak. The Nine Billion Names of God by Arthur C. Clarke. And Helen O'Loy by Lester Del Rey. So that is my tentative list for New Worlds November. Thank you for watching. Keep on reading.